I mean, it still feels like we're still recovering from all the silliness, so, but, um, you know, if a ticket lands on my lap, of course I'll go. And anyways, if anyone wants to gift me a ticket to Burning Man, yeah. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Um, YouTubers, maybe, maybe. <laughs> Hands to knees, take some circles. So uh, I am doing a YouTube video. Uh, don't worry, the camera is not on you guys, it's just on me. So um, I've learned from when I used to teach at the studio and they did an open studio um, uh, video policy and everyone was at the back of the room. It was such an awkward class formation. Switch the direction of your circles. I know people get camera shy, but I've got three in Leo, so I'll take one for the team. Root chakra and sacral chakra connecting. Sun, Mars, and Venus, in case you're wondering. Must love cats. <laughs> Back through the center. And Hilsey pull test board. And excellent around. It is the year of the water cat, or the water tiger, so super excited about that. Harness the energy up through the midsection, yogis. Udi on a bun. Solar plexus and heart chakra uniting. And today we're going over vibration. Second hermetic principle, like attracts like, right? Whichever frequency you're vibrating at, you are attracted unto that and vice versa. Start to slip back down, cactus the arms, inhales, twist to the left, exhales to the right, which is why it's such a good idea to practice really early in the morning because you're setting your frequency super high so you can have really high frequency experiences throughout the day. Joel and Darvine, that throat chakra, brow chakra connecting. And this is why I always recommend doing at least the curly exercises before you walk out the door. Even when Mercury isn't Gatorade, right? Because you're, you're flushing your main noddies. Start to slip back down again, yogis. Hands to thighs, steady the spine, pause for a few breaths and notice the effects. Sweep the hands out and up until they sell the fingers except for the index finger and thumb and held deeply through the nose. Open the mouth and pant like a dog. Take it up into your nose. And inhale deeply. Exhale, slide out the mouth, let it go. <sighs> Release your crossing and variation. Come forward onto all fours, tabletop pose. Ground down through your palms, ground down through your shins. Inhale as you melt the heart forward and up, sit on through your gaze up. Exhale, run and spine gaze at the table. Moving in and out of your cat cow shapes. Connecting your breath with your movements. And you're ready to take it into your bear pose, hip circles, shoulder circles, where it feels good in the spine. Puppy dog pose. Walk the knees back, walk the hands forward, melt heart towards mat, re-extend the sit bones, breathe into your thoracic spine. Beautiful. Roll it forward into your sphinx. Hips to mat, broaden across the collarbones. Drop right ear towards right shoulder, let your multi chest lift your left shoulder. Breathe into your cervical spine. So in uh, law of attraction again, which is basically the law of vibration and hermetic principles, they talk about this spiraling vortex of creation back through the center. Walk the hands to the outer edges of the mat, lift up onto your fingertips, spread elbows wide, lift your chest up. And that's your Shashimna channel, right? Drop right shoulder, gaze to your left. Inhale through center and exhaling to twist. The central axis of your toroidal flow of your torus. The donut hole. <laughs> back through the center as you inhale. Exhale to slowly release the spine back down. Hands come behind back, interlace, press palms together, reach hands back behind, reach out through balls of feet, spiral on your thighs up towards the sky. Tuck the chin and re-extend out through crown. Keep the back of your core engaged, release interlace, hands slide down underneath shoulders, press up, lift up into your cobra. Wrap bubbles and roll shoulders back, puff chest, broaden across collarbones. Beautiful, tuck toes. Hips rise up and back, downward facing. Dog pose, walk it out, bending one knee and then the other, allow the hips to shift. Side to side, breathing into calves, hamstrings and lower back. Amazing. And walk the feet to the outer edges of the mat. Walk the hands back, bend deeply into the knees, malasana squat at the back of the mat. So again, I just want you to push the floor away. Try to slow down the, the descent. Of course, maybe try to get some hover time if you'd like to roll the hips all the way up. To the top, make it. Clap, maybe. Make it clap, make it clap. How many claps can you get? And then when you're complete, can you toe tap? And you mean a malasana at the front of the mat. Nice. Beautiful. Amazing. Left foot steps back. Left knee lowers. Untuck the toes. Keep your arms up for your low crescent pose. 
Expand across the heart center. Broaden across your collarbones. Exhale, hands come down to mat. Straight through your right leg. Come on, heel right foot, reach your toes back towards your face. You can tilt the foot from side to side. And feel free to take variations here. Maybe tuck your left toes, slide your hips back for broken toe pose. It's optional. Amazing. When you're complete with your half splits, rebending in your right knee yogis. Tuck left toes, left hand plants, instep right foot, right arm sweeps up, open hearted crescent. Gaze at the right fingertips. Expand across the heart center. Maybe you rotate onto outer edges of both feet. Let your left hip dip, ease into the outer hip stretch. You can reach that right hand back behind you. Lift up out of the left shoulder to intensify. Start to lift it back up again, yogis. Right foot can slide on top of left. Maybe bend in the knees and re-straighten through the legs to bring the whole bottom of the left foot to the floor. Maybe right foot back behind. Wild thing. Try not to use your right hand, yogis. Step right foot all the way back to the front of the mat. Nice. Amazing. Now from here, you could just step your left foot to the outer edge of your right hand or pee on the fire hydrant, take it up. And then of course, take your time, slowly lower it back down into your molasses at the front of the mat. Nice, nice. Use of Dharma wheel, I like it, I like it. Super slow motion. Right foot steps back when you're ready, yogis. Right knee lowers, untuck the toes. Sweep your arms up for your low crescent pose. Expand across the heart center. Broaden across the collarbones. Exhale, the hands come down to mat. Straighten through your left leg, half splits. Come on, heel of left foot, reach your toes back towards your face. Maybe tuck right toes, side hips back. Broken toe pose. Opening up the arches of your right foot. Deep Ujjayi breaths into the left hamstrings. Beautiful work, yogis. Rebending in your left knee when you're ready. Tuck right toes. Lift right knee up. Right hand plants, left arm sweeps up. Open hearted crescent. Spiral the spine open. Puff the chest. Rotate onto outer edges of both feet. Let the right hip dip. Ease into the outer hip stretch. Lift up out of the right shoulder to intensify. Amazing. When you're ready, lifting it back up again, yogis. Slide left foot on top of right. You can modify your side plank if you'd like. Maybe bend and straighten through those legs to pull that energy up into the heart space. Left foot can step back behind for your wild thing. Roll the shoulder open. Puff the chest. Try not to use your left hand, yogis. As you step left foot all the way back to the front of the mat. And again, you could just step right foot forward to the outer edge of your right hand or pee on the fire hydrant. Lean into your new foundation. Push the floor away. Rise it up. And then of course, when you're complete here, slowly lowering it back down. Can you toe tap? on your way back down to the ground. All right, so we're gonna do things a little bit differently today. Straighten through the legs. Keep your feet about hips distance apart. You can measure it out two fist distance. Again, since we're going over vibration, I want us to really do some, some fun kundalini exercises. Bending in the knees, set your torso on top of your thighs, and extend the arms forward. Now, peel your chest up off of your thighs into your chair pose, into chair, yes. Exhale, release. Go nice and slow the first time. Straighten through both legs. Reach the hands back behind. Inhale as you roll up into your chair. Exhale, roll forward into your Uttanasana. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Here for five. Four. Three. Two. And one. Release into the forward fold. Heel toe the feet together. Inhale as you peel toes forward, find some length arch. Exhale, forward fold. Nice work, yogis. Chair pose, bend in knees, both arms sweep. All right, now from your chair, shift weight into your right foot. Left leg lifts. Left leg comes up and over right. You can stay here or go for the double wrap. Cactus the arms. Left arm comes underneath right arm. Press elbows together, press hands together. Bend a little bit deeper into your right knee. 
Maybe hook the elbows up and over your left knee. Nice work, yogis. Then start to rise it back up again. Release that left foot back. Warrior three with eagle arms. Soaring above it all. Seeing from the omniscient perspective. Then releasing the hands down to mat. Standing splits. Re extend your left heel, breathe into your right hamstrings. Beautiful. Left foot steps way back, yogis. Left foot seals down to a 45. Inhale as you rise, warrior one. Both arms sweep up. Gaze up, lift your heart up, yogis. Hands come behind, back interlace. Puff the chest as you inhale. Exhale, hinge from hips, lead with heart. As right shoulder passes right knee, then begin to round and upper spine, let the hands weigh heavy back behind. Amazing. Rounding down to lift up. Roll the spine up. Both arms sweep up, warrior one. Hands to hips, straighten through right leg. Scoot left forward, short and stance. And you'll find length exhale, hinge from hips, see with hard hands come down to mat. Now here's a great place for block if you have it. You can lift, lift up onto your fingertips, straighten through both arms, round and upper spine. Plug right femur, head bone into right hip socket, float right foot off the mat, just an inch. Mula bond to activation. And sit right foot back down. Walk the hands to the right, yogis. Lengthen the spine up and out of pelvic bowl, breathe into your lower back, left hand plants. Outer edge of your right foot, right hand to your sacrum, really right shoulder back. Right arm can extend up, twist. Firm navel in as you twist. Gaze at the right fingertips, yogis. Amazing. We're gonna take the same posture onto one foot. We already warmed up with the warrior three. Gently bend in right knee. Lean weight forward, press up, lift up, float left leg up. Parvrita Ardha Chandrasana, maybe with Chalfasana, bend left knee. Reach back, catch your left foot with your right hand. Kick foot in the hand, sink the heart forward. Deep Ujjayi breaths. Send it in, nice work, yogis. When you're complete with your Chalpasana variation, gently release both hands to mat, standing splits. Re extend left heel, breathe into your right hamstrings. Now it's optional, you could just step that left foot forward or hands plant, middle fingers in line, thumbs in line. Push the floor away. For those of you sticking your handstand, can you take your eagle legs? Left leg will come on top of right. Bend in the knees. Stick your butt back as you melt the heart. It's a tuck. You are doing a slight tuck, but it's with an asymmetrical shape, so it's kind of fun. Find the balance, and then release. Toe tap on your way back down. Meet me in a molasses at the front of the mat again. Nice, nice use of Dharma wheel. And I'll give you guys adjustments after class. Straight through the legs. <laughs> Beautiful, Lorenzo. Two fist distance apart between the feet, bending deeply into the knees and extend the arms forward. Now peel your chest up off of your thighs, chair. Exhale, release, swing it back behind. Inhales, roll it up. Exhales, roll it forward. So you should feel like you're, you're cleaning that central channel. Feel the toxic energy, stagnant energy, rolling off your spine and out through crown here for five, four, three, two, one. Release into the forward fold. Pause for a few breaths. Notice the effects. I always feel like I'm at a rock concert or something when I do that one. <laughs> Heel toe the feet together. Inhale as you peel to the board, find some length. Exhale, forward fold. Chair pose, bend in knees, both arms sweep. Shift weight into your left foot, yogis. Right heel lifts. Right leg comes up and over left. Go for double wrap if you can. Cactus the arms. Right arm comes underneath the left arm. Press the elbows together, press the hands together. Maybe hinge at the hips. Maybe hook the elbows. Breathe into your outer hips. Ball and socket joints. Shoulders as well, sacral. Beautiful work, yogis. Then slowly start to lift your spine back up. Release right foot, sweep it back, warrior three. Amazing. And gently diving the eagle arms down to the mat for your standing splits. Re-extend right heel, breathe into your left hamstrings. Right foot steps way back, yogis. Right foot swings down, 45. Inhale, rise, warrior one. Drive right hip forward, drive left hip back. Lift frontal hip points. Hands come behind the back, interlace. Puff the chest as you inhale. Exhale to hinge from hips with heart. As left shoulder passes left knee, then begin to round lengthen the whole spine up and out of pelvic fold. Breathe into your lower back. Amazing. 
Rounding down to lift up, roll the spine up. Both arms sweep up, warrior one. Hands to hips, straighten through left leg. Scoot right foot forward, shorten stance. Inhale as you find length, exhale, hinge from hips, with hard hands come down to mat. Lift up onto those fingertips, yogis. Strength through both arms, round and upper spine, plug left femur, head bone into left hip, suck foot left foot off the mat, just an inch. Left foot back down to ground. Walk the hands to the left, yogis. Right hand plants outer edge of left foot, left hand to your sacrum, roll your left shoulder back. Left arm can extend up as you twist, gaze at the left fingertips, deep ujjayi breaths. Amazing. Same posture on one foot. Gently bend left knee, lean weight forward. Press up, lift up, float your right leg up. Beautiful, beautiful. Maybe bending in your right knee, reach back. Left hand can catch your right foot. Kick foot into hand. Slingshot the heart forward, shall pass some variation. Beautiful shapes, yogis. When you're complete with your chapasana, gently release, re-extend the right heel, breathe into your left hamstrings. You can always just step that right foot forward or hands plant, scoot left foot back, middle fingers in line, thumbs in line. Push the floor away, plug arms in the shoulder sockets. Kick towards yourself if you're hopping. Plug through your head bone into hip socket. And again, the left leg will ascend as right leg comes up and over left. Go for the double wrap if you can. Stick your butt back as you pull the heart forward in a counterbalance. So it's like a zigzag pattern. A little boomerang inside your spine to clear that extra sticky spot in the thoracic. And when you're complete, gently release. Toe tap maybe. Woo! <laughs> All right, yogis. Well done, take your time. And when you are complete, this time, straighten through both legs. Noise, noise. Heel toe the feet together. Let's flow a little bit. Inhale as you peel chest forward, find some length. Exhale, forward fold. Chair pose. Bend in knees, both arms sweep. Shift weight into your right foot. Left heel draws towards your left seat. This time, pull heart forward as you reach left foot back. Hands can come through heart center, Anjali Asana. Feel free to work airplane wings. Whatever's your favorite variation for warrior three. Then gently bend in your right knee. Left foot steps way back. Inhale as both arms sweep. Beautiful. Open it onto your warrior two. Okay, so can, we're kind of doing more subtle stuff. Just bear with me here. So inhale, draw your hands into your heart center. Exhale, send it back out. Inhale's draw it in. Exhale, send it back out. Eyes closed. Inhale, what are you calling in? Exhale, what are you sending out to the collective? Now reverse your warrior. Left hand thigh or calf, lengthen through your right side. Beautiful. Inhale as you rise, right elbow, right thigh, left arm extends forward. Half bind, full bind. Birds take flight. Left foot steps forward, press up, lift up, root to rise. Working towards straightening through left leg. Then maybe straighten through lifted leg. Option to catch outer edge of your right foot and work towards straightening through both legs. Nice work, yogis. Whenever you're complete, slowly release. So solid. Amazing. Shifting weight into crown. Left leg extends back. Down half moon pose. On your way back. Loving up every corner of the universe. Step it way back, release spine, rise, warrior two. Straighten through right leg as you rise. Heel toe left foot forward. Short stance. Deepen in right hip crease, extend right and forward reach. Right hand, ankle, shin, floor, left arm extends up and twists the spine open. Gazes at the left fingertips, yogis. Deep ujjayi breaths, proud conquerors we are. Absorbing as much prana on behalf of the collective as possible. Gently bend in right knee. Lean weight forward, press up, lift up. Ardha Chandrasana, half moon pose. Float your left leg up. Maybe bending in your left knee, reach back, catch your left foot. Kick foot into hand, fair chop, hasana variation. I'm gonna throw it out there. If you want to, press down through right foot, root to rise. Come all the way up into your full royal dancer. Might be the first one of the day. So really tune into body. Body is boss. Breath will let you know how far body wants to go. Dive into the heart space. 
as you kick the foot into your hands. Nice work, yogis. Whenever you're complete here, slowly release back through Ardha Chandrasana with Chaupasana. Epic. And then releasing your left foot, re extend left leg back. Kick left foot to the left, yogis. Slowly lower left foot down, pause in your Malasana squat. Take a little breather. Here you can just take a breather and enjoy the show. <laughs> Free Cirque du Soleil show. I've been calling it Cirque du Slow show, right? Because <laughs> slow is actually all the same letters as soul, so, which is also sun. So it's the, it's the circus of the sun, bending in the left knee, lean in, be on the fire hydrant. Utilizing external rotation of femur head bone and hip socket to ascend. And then work the slow control descent down, yogis. If you want to, I want to throw it in. Anyone want to throw in a quick lotus? We'll do right leg first, this side. Since that's the hip that should be hot. Again, same thing. It's a counterbalance situation. So stick your butt back as you pull your heart forward. Nice long hold. Saw that. That was epic. <laughs> back in your molasses spot. Nice work, yogis. Beautiful. I like those pants. Straighten through the legs. Yeah, we got a handstand lotus over here. Have you guys seen Grant press his lotus from seated? It's insane. You gotta see it. It's, in it's so cool. All right, straighten through the legs. Take your time, get those freaking flower mouths. Heel till the feet together. Inhale as you peel chest forward, find some length. Exhale, forward fold. Chair pose. Bend in knees, both arms sweep. Yeah, if you wanna meet us. Yeah, that toe tap, beautiful. Shift weight into your left foot. Right heel lifts, hands come through heart center. Pitch heart forward as you reach your right foot back. And slowly, we shed the layers. Not just the subtle body, but also physical clothing. Gently bend left knee. Step right foot way back, inhales both arms sweep, high crescent. Dead snake skin, sloughing off. Open it out, warrior two. Adjust the stance, heel to arch alignment. Challenge yourself with the stance, yogis. And again, it feels so much cooler if you close the eyes. I feel like that uh, Matthew McConaughey meme. Be a lot cooler if you close your eyes, palms face up, inhales. Draw your hands into your heart center. What are you calling in? Exhale. What are you releasing? Inhales. Draw it in, whatever you're calling in. Law of attraction. Exhale, release, which is no longer serving. Once more, inhale. What are you giving to the collective? Flip left palm, reverse it. Right hand thigh or calf lengthen through left side. Beautiful. Inhales, you rise, left elbow, left thigh, right arm extends forward. Half bind, full bind. You know what to do, birds. Take flight, right foot steps forward, press up, lift up, roots arise. Nice. Straight through standing, then straight through lifted. Optional, maybe catch. Outer edge of left foot with your right hand. Then work towards straightening through both legs. You can do it, yogis. Yeah. Take your time, no rush. Slowly lower it back down again. Take your time, late arrivals. Down half moon pose on your way back. Hopscotch happens sometimes in single standing leg postures, it's all good. Find your grounding, send that energy down to root and rebound. Nice work, yogis. And then whenever you're complete with your bound half moon, stepping it way back, release spine, rise warrior two. Straighten through that left leg, heel to right foot forward, shorten stance, deepen in left hip crease, extend left arm forward, reach. Left hand to ankle, shin floor, right arm extends up, twist the spine open. Gaze is at the right fingertips. Deep ujjayi breaths. Breathe into that space. Taking it onto one foot, yogis. Gently bend in left knee. Lean weight forward. Press up, lift up, float right leg up, right hip stacks. On top of left hip. Push out through heel, reach out through crown. Option to bend right knee, reach back, catch. Right foot, kick foot in a hand for your child, possum variation. Maybe, root to rise. Come to stand. Full overhead grip. If it is a part of your practice. Nice, deep ujjayi breaths, yogis. Again, it's, it is a little bit more challenging to breathe when you're in a precarious posture. Your mind is sending so many signals to the muscles. But remember to take those big voluptuous breaths so that you're actually breathing life into this space to reactivate the nadis. And then when you're complete, 
Release back through Ardha Chandrasana with Chapasana. Nice work, yogis. Release right leg, extend right leg back, kick right foot to the right, and slowly lower right foot down. Woo! Take a moment, pause in your malasana. Optional, handstand. If you took the lotus, tie the other leg in first. So I tied right leg in first, tie the left leg in first. Do you have one that's easier? Uh, They're both pretty yeah, easy. Whichever one. Yeah. I, uh, I, I used to have difficulty with the uh, right leg in first, but they have equalized. So if you do have difficulty with one leg in first over the other, keep practicing both and they will eventually equalize. Puppy press it up, right knee's bent. Again, here we go, left leg comes in first. Press the foot into your thigh. Draw the knee forward. And that'll help to draw the foot into your hip crease. Back your trunk up, back your butt up. Knees come forward. Sorry, YouTubers, we got a little hissy fit happening on the playground. <laughs> And then release when you're complete. Toe tap. It's the end of Mercury Retrograde. <laughs> Little kids especially. Have you guys, I don't know if you guys follow a lot of moms. <laughs> I have a lot of moms that I follow on Instagram. Like we follow each other and um, in the local area. And they're all posting about their kids going crazy <laughs> yesterday. I was like, it's because it's the last day. All right, yogis, take a seat. Whew. We're gonna really get that spiraling vortex of creation activated. So, float your knees. We're gonna do three, three, and three. Maybe straighten through the legs. Right, mystery of the universe. Three, six, and nine. Inhales you lower. Exhales to lift. Inhales to lower. Exhales to lift. One more lower. Lift, bend the knees. Was that four? Dang it. Knees to the right, hands to the left. <laughs> maybe it was, maybe it was, it doesn't matter. Inhales to extend. Exhales, drop back in. Inhales to extend. Exhales, drop back in. Once more, inhale to extend. Exhales, drop back in. Knees to the left, hands to the right. Inhales to extend. Exhales, drop back in. Two more, inhale. Exhale, last one, inhale. Exhale, knees back through center, lower hold. Circles with the feet, yogis. Switch the direction of your circles. If you can, keep the feet hovering. Circles with the upper half. And switch the direction of your circles. Woo! -hoo -hoo -hoo. Now extend the arms, pretend like you are a spiraling vortexual energy, which you are, here for five, four, all through the spine, all through the arms and legs, two, three, two, and one, release it down. Walk your feet in. Bridge to feel good right about now, yogis. Press up, lift up. Hands can come alongside your ears. Fingers point to our shoulders. Press it up, lift it up, reach your rocks. For a full Urva Dhanurasana. And we will revisit. So feel free to add variations if you'd like, but not entirely necessary. Nice work, yogis. When you're complete, tuck the chin. Slowly release. And windshield wiper those knees. Side to side. Yes, beautiful. Legs extend straight up. Arms out to a T. Inhale, lower the feet over to the right. Exhale, back through the center. Inhale to the left. Exhale back to the center. Inhale to the right. Exhale back to the center. Inhale to the left. Exhale back to the center. Legs extend straight up. Swing your legs down. Catch your hollow body rock. Rock up into the shoulders down. Rock back into boat. Feet come wide. Reach your arms through. Malasana squat. So one more Kundalini exercise. I know they're goofy, but I just, I love them again for the spiraling vortexual energy, which is what it's all about, right? That's the like attracts like. Whatever your frequency is, whatever the energy is doing through your central axis, that's what you're manifesting your external reality. So straighten through the legs. Again, you can kind of bend in the knees, extend the arms forward, pull the chest up. Now from chair, keep the legs active and engaged. Straighten through the legs, arms out wide. Inhales, twist to the left, exhales to the right. Firmly rooted through the feet. We're turning ourselves into an energetic turbine. <laughs> yeah, it's good. It's good stuff. All right. Now start to sweep the arms up. But visualize your arms are like two massive selenite crystals. So you're, you're creating all of this energetic clarity through the whole upper half. It's like a dome. Upper half of your body. And then eventually, take your time again, you're wafting all the way up to clear all of this upper half of the sphere. 
when you get to the top, hands clasped together. <sighs> Inhale, sat, exhale, nam. I align myself with my true identity, which is oneness. Whatever is inside me reflects outside of me, like attracts like. Choosing to willingly raise the frequency of myself and all of existence. Beautiful work, yogis, here for five, four, three, two, one, and slow it down. Slowly walk the hands back down. Don't you just feel like your whole body's vibrating? <laughs> that's, uh, that's why we did it, because it's a lot of vibrations that we're going over. Now you can discharge just to break the connection and feel how much energy we're conducting. Stomp the feet out a little bit. Isn't that such a trick? Mm. Weird, huh? <laughs> it's good stuff. All right, and so eventually we'll be able to do that with our legs, right? Eventually, we did it with the arms, we do it with the legs. Now forward fold, back down. Hands plant, one foot out to the side, and switch, one foot out to the side. I think you guys know where we're headed next. Try both at the same time. Take it up, yogis. And then if you want to, legs can come out wide. And just to practice, start to think about it. Wafting the legs side to side. Maybe even getting a little bit of a twist. And of course, those of you that want it, feel free to lower it back into your toe tap. Bakasana. Maybe add a headstand, tuck chin crown to ground, float it up. Much easier too if you want to and headstand, legs out wide again. Practice that wafting of the legs from side to side. It's like the Kundalini exercise, but upside down. A little bit easier, obviously, in headstand. Knees back into you, armpits, press it up, lift it up. It's really nice on the lower back too. Gaze forward, shoot the head forward, shoot the feet back, landing with bent elbows. Forelimb staff. Vinyasa. Nice. You guys are total ballers today. Maybe back in downward facing dog. It's not playing ball, being the ball. Nice, nice. <laughs> From downward facing dog, we're almost through the matrix. Right leg extends as you inhale. Exhale, knee to nose. Step right foot between the palms. Inhale as you rise, high crescent pose. Drive that left heel forward. Beautiful work, yogis. Pressing down through your right foot. Draw your left knee into your chest as you come to stand. Right hand to right hip. Left piece and fingers and thumb can catch left big toe. Extend the left leg forward. Nice, optional. Feel free to work with the bent knee. Open left leg out to the left. Maybe grow a true branch to the right. Amazing. Back through to center. Reach across. Catch outer edge. Reach your left hand back. Twist. From navel as you twist. Nice deep Ujjayi breaths. Beautiful work, yogis. Back through the center. Take your time. No rush. Interlace fingers around left sole of the foot. Slowly lower it down, yogis. You've got it. Yeah. Rise it back up again. Uh, the downward wheel gets in the way sometimes. Releasing the foot when you arrive. Hands to hips or go branches. Point the toe here for five, four, three, two, and one. Sweep it back, warrior three. Any variation that serves your body best. Gently bending in your right knee. Left foot steps way back. Inhales, both arms sweep. Hands come down to mat, yogis. Left knee lowers. I've been liking starting nice and low to the ground with this one. Yeah, feel free to add in inversions at any point throughout the practice. You can walk your hands up onto your right thigh, interlace, press the thigh away. Left elbow can hook over your right thigh. Press the palms together. Twist open your spine. Maybe right arm extends up towards the sky, left hand down towards the ground. Right hand can reach back behind, catch your outer left hip. There is a full bind if you'd like, feel free. Those of you that would like to take it into a single standing leg posture, tuck back toes, engage left thigh, lift left knee. Maybe left foot steps forward. Press up, lift up, root to rise. Nice work, yogis. Bound, twisted, bird of paradise. Amazing. When you're complete, gently release. Pressing down through your right foot. Shift weight forward into crown. Left leg extends back. Bound twisted half moon pose. On your way back. Step way back. Release bind. Hands can come back down to mat. Well, yeah, feel free to extend up into high crescent. Lock the foot over to the right. Left knee lowers. Forearms can lower. Ease into the hip stretch. 
and nod those hips side to side. Right hand to right knee. Come on to fleshy part of your left knee, bend left knee. Reach back, right hand can catch your left foot. Press heel towards seats. Nice, beautiful work, yogis. Amazing. I think that the temper tantrum has simmered down now. Back through the center. Walk right foot back through midline and straighten through your right leg, half splits. Slide right foot forward, walk left foot back. What's such a trip to think about is nothing, everything is neutral. You know, we, we ascribe emotions, emotional values to things. So, I mean, sometimes it happens, sometimes the emotions overtake you and you just gotta feel them. But really processing and witnessing the thoughts. Meditation is so crucial. because it, it teaches us to watch the thoughts and then decide which ones we want to give energy to. And the ones that we give energy to, they do manifest into our reality. When you're ready, rebending in your right knee. Feel free to add any variations again. I love just routinely going for the quad stretch here. And then of course, maybe the overhead grip if it's a part of your practice. And when you're complete, rebending in your right knee. Walk right foot behind your left wrist, release right knee behind the left wrist. Half pigeon. Nice. Beautiful work. Amazing. Such a trip to think about how science reaffirms that everything is indeed always vibrating. When you look at subatomic particles, for instance, right, things are moving so fast, like an electron cloud, what is that? Everything is movement. A couple more deep Ujjayi breaths here. It's not any coincidence that by moving into every part of our sphere of existence, we raise our frequency, right? Start to walk those hands back in again. When you're complete, no rush. Maybe bending in your left knee, reach back, catch left foot, press heel towards seat. Eventually these guys meet. And then maybe foot into elbow crease, reach back, catch fingertips. It's nice and warm now though, huh? <laughs> starts off cold but then we whim hop it maybe overhead grip when you're complete no rush walking the hands back in tuck the back toes engage your left thigh lift your left knee up now slide right leg over to the left set the right hip down walk the hands to the right left form lowers and gently twist bringing the spine out of toxins deep ujjayi breaths Full twist for the whole spinal column here. Back through the center, press down through forms, drag that right hip back behind. The more you utilize your psoas, the more you'll experience the stretch here. If, you, if you're not really into cardio, you may not feel it as much. Walking the hands back in again. Hands plant a foot in front of your right hip. Press up, lift up, variation of plank yogis. Left foot swings down, left arm extends, roll that left shoulder back. Fall in triangle pose, option two. Float that right foot up. Left hand can catch the outer edge. Beautiful. Rebending in your right knee. Left hand plants, right leg sweeps up and back. <laughs> Hip circles, ankle circles. Again, feel free to lower knee or lower forearm in your side plank if you choose to go there. Otherwise, rotate onto outer edge of left foot. A little bit of the uh, bending and straightening through the left leg goes a long way and flattening the whole foot down to the ground. You can float a tree, maybe yogi toe lock. And if you have the overhead grip, I'll implore you to go for your Kapinjalasana. Bending in the right knee, you can reach back, catch the right foot, like a Chopasana. Flip the grip, overhead. Then wild thing, full Urbha Dhanurasana if you're feeling it, yogis. Roll it back through your vinyasa at your own pace. Feel free to skip it. Okay, so little ones, we have some uh, video YouTube stuff going on today. <laughs> All right, from downward facing dog pose. We got one more side, yogis. From downward facing, left leg extends up and back as you inhale. Exhale, knee to nose, round and upper spine, gently step left foot between the palms, inhale as you rise. High crescent pose, both arms sweep up. No worries. There we go, final standing sequence, yogis, of the flow. 
Pressing down through your left foot, draw your right knee into your chest as you come to stand. Left hand to left hip. Right peace time, fingers and thumb can catch right big toe. <laughs> Extend the right leg forward, yogis. Bent knee is fine, work with what you've got. Nice, open right leg out to the right. Maybe grow a tree branch to the left. Yeah, YouTubers, we got everything going on at, uh, at the park, back through the center. It's not live, we're just gonna load it to YouTube later. Left hand can reach across, catch outer edge of the right foot. Oh no, that's okay, but that's for the end of class. Reach your right hand back. We, we saved that for Shavasana. Thank you. Nice. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Beautiful work, yogis. <laughs> Back through the center. Interlace fingers around the right sole of the foot. And slowly lower it down. Nice. Beautiful. Pistol squatters, take your time. And when you're ready, press it up. Lift it up. Root to rise. Releasing the foot, hands to hips to grow branches here for five, four, three, two, and one. Sweep your right leg back, warrior three. Yeah, just don't touch the camera. It is in a specific angle. No, 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 no. Don't touch, don't touch, don't touch, don't touch, don't touch. Don't touch. Gently bending in your left knee. Right foot steps way back. Inhale, both arms sweep. Beautiful. Hands come down to mat. It's a good one so far. We got we to gotta make sure that this gets onto YouTube. Right knee lowers. Untuck the toes. Walk your hands up onto your left thigh. Interlace. Press the thigh away. Beautiful. Right elbow hooks over your left thigh. They feel the vibration, right? The little kids are running a lot of energy, so like attracts like. Maybe extend the arms, open the wings. Left hand creeps back behind. Catch your outer right hip. Right arm can thread underneath for the full bind. Tuck right toes, engage right thigh, lift right knee up. Maybe right foot steps forward, press up, lift up, root your eyes. Bound, twisted, bird of paradise. You've got it, yogis. Solid. Amazing. No rush. Whenever you're complete, birds, slowly lower it back down. Take your time, late arrivals. Pressing down through left foot, shift it forward into crown. Right leg extends back. Bound, twisted half moon pose on your way back. Step it way back, release the bind. Again, if you want to extend up arms once more, feel free in your high crescent. Hands can come down to mat. Right knee lowers again, walk left foot to the left, forearms lower, ease into the hip stretch, not hip side to side. So again, we're just, we're flushing out all those little nuanced nadis, tubular channels, left hand to left knee, gaze over left shoulder. Is when all these channels have gunk stored up in them, it detracts, it pulls energy out of the shashumna, out of your spiraling vortex of creation. Bend right knee, your back left hand can catch your right foot. But witness the stories that come up so that you can indeed release them. Then shift your focus. What is it that you are actually calling in? Gently release, walk left foot back through midline. Align yourself with the transformation, the transmutation. Slide left foot forward, walk right foot back. The higher vibrational frequency that corresponds, we'll get to that hermetic principle, correspondence, with the new arrangement of your tamas gunas. Beautiful work, yogis. I love splits. They take some getting used to. Maybe bending in the right knee, reach back, catch your right foot, press heel towards C. And of course, there is an overhead grip here if you'd like. Feel free to take it. Beautiful work, yogis. Whenever you're complete with your splits, rebending in your left knee, walk left foot behind right wrist. Release the left knee behind the left wrist. Half pigeon pose. Inhales, you find like the exhale forward fold. Yeah, I gotta start posting more videos to YouTube, uh, especially since I'm gigging a lot now. And people are like, hey, I want to practice with you. But then some of them are like in a Tascadero or Paso Robles or from Santa Maria. And I'm like, yeah, that's going to be rough for you to like make the class times that I'm teaching at. Um, even though I do teach a lot of free classes in the park, um, I really want, I, I mean, and you can see why I get so amped on this. Because when anybody dislodges stagnation in their field, that raises the vibrational frequency of the whole collective. So it's just, you know, we're building momentum. We're accelerating in the ascension. 
Oh man, I love it. I really hope that uh, Esther Hicks hangs out a little bit longer because I feel like in the next couple of years, we're gonna see some massive movements. I mean, potentially get all the Cal Poly students obsessed with Kundalini. Like what? Can you imagine what would happen if that, oh my gosh, I don't even know. I kind of like like, like not knowing. Walk the hands back in. Cause it's like, what does Abraham Hicks always say? Uh, being surprised and delighted by, <laughs> You know, asking and receiving, and then when you receive, you're always surprised and delighted by what you receive. Bend the right knee back, catch the right foot, press heel towards seat. Highly recommend it too. If you're ever in a funk, yeah, the Kundalini exercises help, no doubt. But just listen to some Abraham Hicks. Oh my God, it just gets you thinking in such a, a great way, attracting what it is that you are wanting instead of attracting what you're not wanting by default. Overhead grip if it's a part of your practice. Nice work, yogis. Whenever you're complete here, gently release. Walk the hands back in, tuck back toes. Engage your right thigh, lift your right knee up. Slide left leg to the right and set your left hip down. Walk the hands to the left, right forearm lowers and gently twist. Yeah, and I think also, seeing how law of attraction has become so prevalent walk hands forward you can kind of see the shadow aspect of just focusing on one so you don't just want to use law of attraction to like get a yacht per se you know <laughs> use it for good guys walk the hands back in you don't need a yacht you don't need a yacht walk the hands in press up lift up you're like but i do need the yacht <laughs> right foot swings down right arm extends roll that right shoulder back maybe float left foot up right hand can catch the outer edge Beautiful work, yogis. <laughs> Rebending in your left knee. Right hand plants, left leg sweeps up and back. Hip circles, ankle circles, maybe rotate onto outer to your right foot. Roll your left hip to stack, float a tree, yogi toe lock. Beautiful work, amazing. Of course, we went for it. Maybe catch the foot. Maybe overhead grip. Kapindalasana. And of course, when you're complete here, Gently release it into your wild thing. Full Urdhva Dhanurasana, upward facing. Amazing, beautiful shapes, yogis. Vinyasa, if it's pleasing, or feel free to skip it. Whew, sometimes I love like twerking a little bit and down dog, do you guys ever do that? It feels nice. <laughs> child's pose when you're complete. Rest in child's pose. Oh, this is such a law of attraction vibration posture because you're resting your brow third eye directly on the yoga mat amazing and then rolling the spine back up through to seated all we're making perfect time cross the shins and roll over the legs I did want to get in a uh, fallen angel so as to get into the side of the neck I'm gonna offer it in a couple times though. So you can come into it from the arm balance or you can come into it from shoulder stand or both ways if you'd like. Draw your right leg in, yogis. Right leg comes up and over your left. Lean onto your left seat. Now slide your left heel back towards your outer right hip. Right hand behind, take them left arm extends. Exhale, left elbow outer to right knee from navel as you twist. And honestly, I think that the fallen angel, it is so clutch for throat chakra, right? And this is, how we call in, like through the throat. Press up, lift up. It's also how we witness the stagnation so we can rewrite our signature, our energetic signature. Extend the legs, maybe set the side of the face down and take it up into your fallen angel. Right foot points straight up towards the sky. Left leg straight up as well. Maybe you take both legs up. And slowly lower back down. Rebending in the knees. Gently release, take seat. Well done, yogis. Counterbalance twist to the left. This is quite the ecstatic dance, wasn't it? <laughs> Back through to center. All the kids are attracted to us today. Stack the knees, heels towards the outer hips. Maybe your right arm extends up. Bend the elbow, reach left hand up back for fingertips. Inhales, you find like the exhale forward, fold it. Beautiful work, yogis. When you're complete, <laughs> rolling the spine back up through to seated. And release the arms. 
They're little humans. It's so cute. Shake it out. Walk the hands back behind. Legs out in front. Bounce the knees. Winch away for the feet. Draw your left leg in. Left leg comes up and over your right. Okay, seriously, this is a lot more little kids than usual. It's because we did all the kundalini exercises, I think. Lean onto your right seat. Slide right heel back towards your outer left hip. Left hand behind, sacrum right arm extends. Exhale, right elbow outer to left knee from navel as you twist. Nice, beautiful work. Option two, lift up onto your right shin. Hands can plant, make a shelf with your arms. Float the legs up, maybe set the side of the face down. Left side of the face, extend the legs. And float the feet up. Left knee lowers back down, gently release. Take a seat. Counterbalance twist to your right. Kaden, okay, I think your, your parents would love this class. <laughs> Stack those knees. Are they new to yoga? <laughs> that would have been epic. You're like, what is this? Left arm extends. <laughs> Front elbow. Reach right hand up back for fingertips. Inhales, you find length. And excellent, afford fold it. <laughs> it's all good. He might he might end up on YouTube if that's okay. <laughs> Are you showing her your piggy? Oh, that's so cute. That's so adorable. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Pulling the spine back up through the seated and release the arms. Yeah, you can shake them out. Hands behind, legs in front. Bounce the knees. Wind swipe for the feet. I'll offer it out. Side flush the bum out from underneath. and Inhales, you sweep. Hands out and up. Exhale to forward fold down. Posh with us. And those of you that want it, again, feel free to skip it, but if you would like to, you can take it into your middle splits. Hello. <laughs> Legs can come out wide. <laughs> and then maybe float it up into your middle. If you're feeling your middle, feel free to skip. It's a lot, it's a lot. <laughs> oh man, those hips don't lie, do they? Shakira was right. When you're complete with your middle, press it back. Hands underneath your knees, slide the feet together. Woo! This is gonna be a high vibration day for you guys. Hands underneath your feet, inhales, you find length, exhale, forward fold, press elbows into inner thighs. Let yourself also, though, I mean, we did all this work in, in 3D with the Tamas Gunas, but let yourself be guided by the thoughts that feel good. Rolling the spine back up through the seated. And if a thought doesn't make you feel good, try to think about something that does make you feel good. Draw the knees together, roll down onto your back. However you want to close it up, yogis. So if you want to take some chakrasanas, some drop backs, feel free. Press up, lift up, maybe just a bridge pose, interlace. Those of you that are feeling it, take it all the way up. Maybe take some rocks. Come up to stand. Maybe chakrasana, take it up and over. Drop back first. Hips come forward, both hands reach back, catch the floor, same time. Scorpion on your way back. Ooh, nice, that was smooth. I saw that out of the corner of my eye. That was beautiful. Back that to the mat first. Slow roll the spine down. That was a huge victory for the whole universe. Winch left for knees. Hug your right knee and extend left leg out. Scoot the hips to the right, draw the right knee over to your left. Supine twist. Roll right shoulder to the ground. Back through to center, switch sides. Hug left knee and extend right leg out. Scoot hips to the left, draw left knee over to the right. Slowly lower that left shoulder down to ground. And of course, I did promise navigation into Fallen Angel from Shoulder Stand. So draw left leg back through the center, extend left leg straight up, wrap elbows in, press up, lift up for your shoulder stand initially. You can lower the feet down, yogi. Halasana, here we go. Hands come to the ground behind you. Walk your feet out to a V. Then walk feet over to one side and actually roll onto that side. And you can come into the Fallen Angel in that way. It's kind of nice. Back through to, or your shoulder stand, or halasana plow. Then walk with me to the other side, roll onto that shoulder. Back into halasana. 
Karna Pidasana bending yeah. the knee, knees, ear squeeze through. Slow lower back down. Matsyasana, fish, hands underneath your seat. Press down through your forearms, lift your chest up. Sorry guys, I can't change the music until I uh, finish the video. <laughs> we're almost there, we're almost there. Let the head hang back. It's one of those ecstatic dances where they really got going. <laughs> Happy baby. Pose, Ananda Velasana, maybe one leg behind the head, followed by the other. Nice work, yogis. Epic, epic flow today. Nice, that's it, beautiful, Veronica. Amazing. Oh, that's such a beautiful shape. And then gently release. Extend the legs out, feet flop open, palms face up, yogis. Final resting pose. And again, for YouTube, I recommend that you take a five to 10 minute Shavasana. Of course, drink lots of water and meditate to integrate this re new arrangement of your Tamas Gunas and enjoy your new vibration and expand, continue to expand. We hope to practice with you again soon. Namaste.